Hey everyone, how are you doing? So we're going to do a little competition here today. I've got the electric mower on the left made by Greenworks and on the right a Fiskars push mower and a lawn that has not been attended to in a while. As you can see, some of this grass has gotten a little bit too long. So let me go over the tools of the trade here. First off is my dog was in the yard, so I have this little shovel here that's really nice for litter boxes and it comes in handy for removing politicians from my yard. And then over here, just uh, it's a good idea to apply sunblock. I'm reminded of this daily uh, up here during the summer. And then some trimmers just to make sure that if there's anything sticking out from a tree, it will get snipped and then over here again i always want to comment on this this is a 12 gauge power cable that's connected to this mower and i have a 100 meter sorry not 100 meter 30 meter long cable so the longer you run the more gauge that you need or you know the thicker cable so that's important for power so what we're going to do is show how this uh, lawn would be mowed between these two mowers and the nice thing about the one here on the left is I can talk to you and mow you know, and as if I run through here you can see that it's missing a lot of the uh, taller pieces of grass over here on this side uh, this mower will definitely get the taller pieces of grass but it makes a lot more noise but it's uh, still pretty quiet I had the wonderful of opportunity of having to use somebody's gas mower a few weeks ago and I remember how much smoke and noise it makes. So glad to be back on these. So with that, we'll commence the operation of the, uh, the shootout between the two mowers and here we go. Okay, so what we do is we push that button first, push it and hold it. And then, there you go. Watch the cable. Yeah, something else that I thought I'd show you here is these shoes. They're made by Skechers and I really find them to be comfortable. These are the types that you just put your foot right in there and they fit nicely. They're great for walking. I use them on my treadmill and the reason why I have them out here is just to kind of walk around, get used to them. The grass is nice and dry, but if it wasn't dry I'd be using those dock siders that I showed earlier in the video. Okay, as you can see, the electric mower clearly did a better job on tall grass than the push mower. So that's the thing. More often is important to ensure that the push mower is cutting through this grass on a regular and consistent basis. Okay, otherwise you have to go and mow over this multiple times. So that's what I wanted to show you is the difference between the electric mower and the push mower, they both are very effective. The one on the right is actually lighter and easier to store and I find it to be very easy to use if the yard has been mowed frequently and you're on a level area. So, okay, what I wanna show you here is that the electrical cable is set up here where it's away from the pathway of the mower and then we always mow away from it so i just want to make sure and i've shown this in other videos but you may not have seen it the idea is to mow in this direction so you just keep coming back and forth and back and forth and you'll mow this way so you're always mowing away from the cable so this is my dog sophie please like and subscribe this video thank you